the toilet paper plant. That was probably my earliest memory of thimbleberry. Long before the appreciation of its jammy fruit punch flavor, it was the go-to plant for when I found myself in a number two pinch. Still, as the years progress, I continue to be surprised by the practical versatility of this widespread shrub. Did you know? Thimbleberry's real name is Rubus parviflorus. It is in the Rosaceae family and is in the same genus, Rubus, as raspberry, blackberry, loganberry, and many others. Rubus fruit are an aggregate fruit composed of small, individual droops. Each individual is termed a drupelet. In a sense, they are many little berries grouped together to make one large berry. Like many of the other Pacific Northwest berries, thimbleberry was eaten by the Native Americans. The New Chanluth were known to collect the young shoots to be eaten raw as a vegetable, and the berries were dried smoked with clams. The Kwakwak Yawak harvested the berries while they were still pink and hard, then stored them in cedar bags until ripe. The broad soft leaves can be used to make a quick pouch for holding the berries and provide a practical solution to assist you during your bathroom duties. Thimbleberry is both low in fat and calories and is a great source of vitamins A and C with traces of potassium, calcium, and iron. Medicinally, the young shoots, roots, and leaves have been used to treat many ailments. A tea is made of the leaves or roots as a blood tonic in the treatment of nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and dysentery. Its effects are believed to tone and strengthen the stomach, helping increase appetite. Rich in vitamin C, thimbleberry helps boost your immune system and was used to ward off scurvy. A poultice of the dried powdered leaves treats wounds and burns, and the fresh leaves can be crushed and applied to treat acne. A decoction of the roots was also taken to treat acne as well. In the kitchen, you can find thimbleberry as a great berry substitute for your favorite dessert dishes. Sprinkle a handful on some vanilla ice cream or mix a few with your pancake batter. They are tasty in cakes, breads, muffins, pies, jams, salads. The list goes on. It's all up to your imagination. So next time you find yourself about to prepare a berry dish, give this humble little rubus a try. In the description, you will find a list of thimbleberry recipes. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy foraging!